Welcome to a brand new video in a brand new year and a brand new face since the bird is gone and you can find out where it went in the Christmas video I released in the last year. So in this series we're going to have a look at something which was requested a lot. How can we connect Laravel with Angular 2 or with Vue.js? Both was in high demand and in the next videos I will show you how to do that. Now, there are two different ways of connecting Laravel to Angular 2 or Vue.js. You could either simply add some widgets to your Laravel application. That means your Laravel application still renders a couple of views, like you know it from all my Laravel projects on this channel. And in the views, we might use some widgets, some tabs we can click, which then show a different content or some drop down or whatever. And those widgets are obviously powered by JavaScript because they need to edit the DOM at runtime. And instead of building them with vanilla JavaScript or jQuery, we could use Angular 2 or Vue.js to build those widgets. Now, this is a valid use case, especially for Vue.js though because Angular 2 really isn't that great at building widgets. It's just not what it's meant for. It's just not where it really excels. Angular 2 is great at building single page applications. So applications which are completely powered by Angular 2. It is great at building enterprise level large applications of that type. But when it comes to building just widgets, it's technically possible you can bootstrap multiple pages, excuse me, multiple Angular apps on the same page and each widget would be a separate app, you could say. But it's really not fun when you look at the tooling, you can't use the CLI there because the CLI doesn't integrate well into your Laravel workflow. You can create your own workflow, but it's not that much fun. And also you get a lot of overhead. Yes, you can only import what you need from the world of Angular 2 tools and features, but still, it's the fully fledged Angular 2 framework you're using, and there are a lot of things you just won't need there. It's just not the best option, to be honest. So building widgets with Angular 2 is probably not what you want to do. It's perfectly fine to do that with Vue.js though, because Vue.js, unlike Angular 2, scales in both directions. It scales up, you can build big enterprise level large applications with Vue.js, single page applications that would be. And you can also scale down and build simple tiny widgets you drop into pages. It works with both, so that's something we'll have a look at in this series. It's not with which we're starting though. Instead, I want to focus on the main task or the main usage of those frameworks, creating single page applications. In that case, Vue.js or Angular 2 will create and power the full application. They will provide their own routers, which allow the user to switch between pages, but technically no new pages are loaded from the server. Instead, only the URL changes and parts of your page are re-rendered. Those single page applications can be served by any server and typically are not served by your Laravel application, though that would be possible. You could serve like an index.blade.php file, which simply holds your index.html content, which starts your Angular 2 or Vue.js application and does nothing else. The important thing here is Laravel won't render any views or maybe just that one view, but not multiple views. Instead, you have a single page application. Where does Laravel come into play then? Laravel is your backend and you connect to it via HTTP AJAX calls. So you basically call your Laravel backend from your Angular 2 or Vue.js application to store some data in the database because database access is something which only your server side language can do. So you need your backend here or to fetch some data, do some calculations, do anything which needs to be done on a server. In that case, you would use Laravel and Laravel would basically just expose some API endpoints, some URLs to which your front ends, your Angular 2 or Vue.js applications can connect and can send the requests. This is what I will start with in this series. And actually this is what we're going to build. It's not the most awesome application ever, but it covers all the 
CRUD methods, so creating, reading, updating, and deleting content. We can create a new quote here, and we can also fetch quotes. Now, I already created one, so if we click Get Quotes, well, we see the quote I did create. We can then also go in there and edit it. For example, add multiple exclamation marks, since multiple exclamation marks always make a message more meaningful. So if we then hit save, it updates. And well, we could also, of course, delete it. Now it's gone. And if I reload this and click get quotes again, well, we don't get any quotes because I deleted it. So we can also add a new quote here, hit save and see, well, it was created. Let's go there and hit get quotes again. Here it is. So that is what we're going to build. It's not super awesome, but it covers all the access types we typically have when reaching out to the backend. So this is what I will start with. And specifically in the next video of this series, I'm going to start with building the backend with Laravel, building all those API endpoints I was talking about and walking you through that process before we then in the further videos dive into building the Angular 2 and Vue.js applications and make them able to, well, reach out to our backend and use it. So let's start with building the backend in the next video.